Hello people at the house holding today, I'm just gonna run through this like next week. <laughs> literally, because I'm just in a bit of a hurry at the moment. I'm sorry for because I literally went over time recording today and I had to get this topic out of the way because it was I've been kicking this out of the way for a while. So the topic today is should the Irish Gaudi have guns? So some Gaudi do, I know and I understand that. There's detectives that have guns and then there's the armor spots unit that has guns. And the same with the drugs in, they do have guns too. But the only Irish guard has no gun. So we're talking about do should they be armed? Well, all in all, the effect so um, since the form formation of the state, the Irish guards never really had guns. Because there was no need because this country was declared as peace for a neutral country. So there was not even nearly need for even nearly guns in this country nearly at all. Only for the odd gun, to be honest, with you, for Hutton and all that. But there was never really a need to arm the Gaudi in this country for since the in the sixties and into the seventies and into the eighties when there was trouble in the north, but there was not really that big of trouble up here. So uh, that was the thing. So so uh, nowadays the, it, there was a few cops killed in the last few years, like in twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen. I remember in Loud, which was upsetting. But one of them was the detective and did have a gun, but the way it works now is in America, if you're watching from America, they just shoot for so they don't really care about anybody's life. In this country, they stop and take before they shoot. And that's what got to him. That's what killed him. Because he stopped and thought about shooting. Because he get more trouble if he killed that person than if they killed him. Because they got... They were... They weren't found for four years afterward. So... They were kind of got off scot free for four years, and the guards knew who done it and all that. But they were like, "Oh no, would there be trouble if I were we get him?" And then as soon as he didn't pay his taxes, fucking fire him in the prison. <laughs> that's literally what happened. I'm not even telling you it's a joke. That's actually what happened. I'm not even joking. Uh, but they did die in service of the state, and I remember a few years ago, there was this brave honourable guard. The whiskey's like there was a flood in the island when this happened. The flood water was coming up onto a bridge and he took it in his duty to get everybody off the bridge and sadly he was swept into the river and he was drowned and he died in an honour of the state and may I say he was a great guy to risk his life to save the people that he was supposed to protect. But in uh, in in thing in comparison, the Irish guards should not have guns. Simple as that. Some guards may be detectives and all. I understand that, but in this country, it's never really that much shootings. And maybe in Dublin, there's the odd shooting, but not like on the scale of America. Because in America, you can buy a gun anywhere, but you need so much in this country for to get even a gun in your hand. You need to get a gun license. You need to pay the amount of money you have to pay for ammo is ridiculous. You literally probably only buy one bullet every year. That's literally how much it costs to even... It's just ridiculous how much... I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that keeps people from dying. Which is something that Donald Trump should... literally listen to the Irish people about it. That we don't want guns in this country. We're happy enough where we are. We don't want to have fights going on. Which is okay. Which is perfectly okay. Nice, peaceful countries. Everybody likes nice people. Nice, peaceful, united country. So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe more and bye.